This is the PartyPoker.net Aussie Millions, brought to you by PartyPoker.net, the world's largest poker school. Barry Tompkins, Michael Koenig. This is our main table, and a very competitive table it has been. Thorne, having just lost a pretty good-sized hand to Esfandiari, will throw away that. Esfandiari has been a participant a lot. 13-5. Then Barry Esfandiari told us in his interview he likes to try to build up a big stack. And this is one way of doing it, getting involved in a lot of hands, raising it up, hoping to spike something big on the flop. Oh, and Grotz calls with the ace eight. Well, he's had good success with that before. Kathy Liebert has an ace also, but with a four. And Liebert's in the big blind. She's getting a nice discount. It's only going to cost her 8,500 more to get involved here. Again, she probably doesn't think she has the best hand, but there are a lot of drawing possibilities. So three players to the flop, Liebert, Graz, and Esfandiari, and here is the flop. Whoa! Oh, Kathy Liebert <laughs> flops the wheel. That is about as good as you can get. And there are no flush possibilities out here. I like her checking here. She's supposed to just have some raggedy hand in the big blind. Esfandiari showed strength before the flop. 34,000 for Esfandiari. Yeah, and part. he's trying to represent that he had some sort of big hand. I think he picked the wrong hand to do this on. Kathy Liebert is just praying that Mike Grotz comes along for the ride. And he, he's reaching for chips. Yep. Cool. He calls. Boy, he's in a world of trouble. And so is Esfandiari. They don't know what a big hand Kathy Liebert has. Well, that flop certainly wouldn't scare anybody off. I think Kathy just needs to call here. There's 111,500 in the pot. As we said before, no flush draw out there. I really like just calling here, let another card come off, hope that it hits somebody, improves their hand, let them get frisky, and then move it in. No, she's raising. 60,000 more. And that'll give Esfandiari cause for consideration, not to mention Graz. Esfandiari gets out of the way. Well, Graz surely has to fold here, Barry. He has just two over cards his his ace looks nice he's got a mediocre kicker sure he's got the inside straight draw the four but that's a very slim draw for kathy lieber to raise there she's signaling that she really has something substantial and he he makes a call i don't get that call barry I don't know what Mike Grotz is trying to make here. I don't know. Here's the turn. It's a nine. That is of no help to Grotz. He can only hit a four to tie, and Grotz must have just misread Kathy oh. Liebert and figured, and he says he's all in. He's going to get called, and Mike Grotz is going to lose a monster pot unless a four comes for a split. He is toasted. Wow. Kathy Liebert's just patiently waiting for all the ships to actually get oh. in. We're good. And then calls. Wow. Rots has got to know he's in trouble. Oh, well, he does need a four to chop. All he can do is pray for a four. Wheel. 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 Wishful thinking. Only card that will help him, and even then it only gets him a split. I'm mystified by Mike Graz's play right there, and I think Kathy Liebert is too, but take she will guys. take it. You bet she will. Nice and Graz, nice you heard him saying, I'm out of here. And indeed he is. So Michael Graz uh, will leave the goings-on here in Melbourne, and uh, I'm sure he's probably questioning that play a little bit. In fact, maybe even Thank more you. than a little bit. And Kathy Liebert, a huge hand. We're coming back.
We welcome you back to Melbourne. Well, Michael, when we were here in January of 06, Fidel's Cigar Lounge proved to be the ideal place to enjoy the finer things in life. It's located in the high-end mall at Crown Towers. Fidel stocking over 70 varieties, the world's finest cigars, along with a selection of spirits for the most discerning of tastes. Like yours and mine. Yummy, yummy. Following an after-dinner cordial, you went up 29 floors to the Crystal Club. That's an oasis in the Crown Towers, high above the city. Come enjoy the finer things in life at the Crown Tower. Bonus coverage right now as we take it to one of our outer tables. Mark Boss and Russell Davies hooking up here. And Boss says he's all in with his pair of tens. Davies calls him. Got another classic matchup. Ace King versus the pocket pair. And it looks like one of Davies' aces or kings has already been thrown in the muck by another player. So Voss has increased his lead. Jack on the turn. Davies needs an ace or king. Didn't happen. And Mark Voss will double up through Russell Davies. So good win for him. Gets him back in the fray. We take it back to our main table now. Which only has five players sitting at it. Hand values go up when it's this short-handed. And a guy like the magician as Fondiari knows how to well look at that. He's got the ace. Cool. And he just calls. And he knows how to take advantage of these short-handed yeah. tables. Bay with an ace five checks in the big blind. Battle of the blinds. Six, queen, seven. That doesn't help either player. 8,500 is the bet from Esfandiari. And normally, Barry, when the flop misses everybody, the first player to show strength typically takes down the pot, but Bay smells something a little fishy here, and he calls with the worst hand. It's another seven. That's no help. Now, the big advantage Bay has in this hand is that he has position in on Esfandiari. Bay gets to act last. Esfandiari has shown a little weakness with a check on the turn. And Bay puts in a tester bet. It's enough. And Bay will take this one. So Bay really holding his own young player playing against uh, some of the big dogs here. Going to take it to one of our otter tables once again. And here, Billy Sukar is all in against Jerry Fitz. And unfortunately, this is not a sweet situation for Sukar. He will need an ace or a queen, and now a 10 could help him fill a straight. Not going to happen. So, Billy Sukar, the cousin of Joe Hashem, will take a walk. First tournament I've played. I've only been playing for six months. And I came into the tournament today with 40,000. Doubled up twice, got up to about 120. As you said, I had my ace queen. And uh, had to make a move. I had this pocket sevens and I held up. Do you know this man is my cousin? 